Everything that wasn't invented by God was invented by an engineer. The Academy started life 1976 with the support of His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh. 130 of the UK's finest engineers were enrolled. People who over the course of their careers had literally changed the world. Engineers like the jet engine visionary Frank Whittle, bouncing bomb inventor Barnes Wallace, and Lord Hinton, who'd driven the UK's supremacy in nuclear power. 1976 saw some notable engineering milestones. Concorde made its first commercial flight. Apple launched the Apple One computer. And the Viking One and Two probes landed on Mars. The Academy brings together the most distinguished engineers in the UK. It means you're recognised as somebody who's made a very big impact in engineering and as a senior voice in engineering and also as a role model that can help set the agenda and the tone for others to follow. I was always fascinated by uh, things that moved, by prime movers, by engines. I just became interested in what made it all tick. Before I was elected as a fellow of the Academy, I thought of the Academy like the leading uh, body for the engineering profession, speaking with a one voice for the engineering profession. Within the Academy's fellowship, people who really know how to turn ideas into a reality, and that reality into jobs, into economic growth. The Academy has grown steadily to undertake a key role in policy advice, whether it's sustainable energy policy, water resources, infrastructure, and secure communications. We are a national academy, but we have a global outlook. In our international activities, we have many research and innovation programs which are aimed at growing emerging economies. In Sub-Saharan Africa, we're working with universities and businesses growing capability in teaching, research and innovation. If we look at what has been achieved through phenomenal engineering innovations, like for example the internet, it's an engineering innovation at heart, delivered by engineers, and it's transformed society. Our lives are completely different now to the way they used to be. That's what engineers need to be proud of. Through the establishment of our enterprise hub, we bring together young entrepreneurs and provide mentoring from within our fellowship. And at the Enterprise Hub what we do is we work with aspiring uh, entrepreneur engineers, people who want to take what they've built, take what they've invented and really go out there and sell it. Being part of the Hub has been incredible. The mentorship, the access to um, all the experienced entrepreneurs has given me the freedom to come out of the academic environment and start my business. The Academy hosts the Queen Elizabeth Prize Foundation an international £1 million prize awarded every two years for a groundbreaking innovation of benefit to humanity. It recognises engineering excellence and is designed to inspire the next generation of engineers. In 2015, the prize reached a worldwide audience of one and a quarter billion people. We're trying to get people away from the boots and hard hat image of engineering and see it for what it is, which is providing solutions to all of society's problems. Engineering's ongoing role in shaping the future and making the world a better place relies on encouraging talented young people to take up engineering careers. We put a lot of effort into promoting engineering to youngsters showing them what engineering is all about so that there will be a ready flow of young people thinking of engineering careers. It's those young people that are our future. The Royal Academy of Engineering came in to help us make propellers. We tested them to see how high they could go, but mine didn't go very well. <laughs> in 40 years' time, I would see an academy that has much more influence. I'll see an academy that's doing many more things with more resource and that's making a bigger difference. And I will see a society that has engineering at its heart and recognises it. If I was an engineer, I'd do a lot of different things and create the rocket shoe, robot fairies, rainbow iPads. I would like to see engineering helping in finding the solution to 
big problems such as energy and the environment. We're going to see a lot around space travel uh, and, and space exploration. In the future, I would like to see the Academy become the go-to place at the heart of the UK for engineering. I think the role of the Academy is to inspire young people. Uh, particularly attracting more girls to engineering. It isn't a male subject, it is a people subject. I'm incredibly proud of everything the Academy has achieved in its first 40 years. And I'm grateful to our fellows, staff and, and partners and supporters across academia, business and government who've worked with us to make this happen. And I look forward to the next 40 years working together.